boy Lunar. We kicking it here on Twitch. And uh y'all need to keep liking the videos. I see y'all watching. I appreciate all the support I'm getting. Uh we trying to hit what was it three hundred by the end of April? And we uh we three fourths away there. We got like two twenty four or some shit like that. So I appreciate all the love I'm getting. Uh we gotta hit three hundred by the end of April. I'm trying to hit five hundred by uh what I say, June by the summer. I don't know, I'll pick the summer. But uh this video is by Anton Daniels. It's another uh person we like reacting to. And uh this one is why hasn't he called me? Men don't care anymore. Women irritated, young men isn't pressed to call. And I'ma go ahead and give my two cents in what's the point of calling y'all back y'all y'all make it so hard on brothers nowadays if we even get y'all to talk to us let alone have a conversation and like actual and not just those one word that come i hate that shit those one word takes it that shit is so annoying and we can actually get y'all to conversate to conversate with us it goes nowhere it's like one day like we'll be talking to y'all for like a not even a full day for like a couple of hours and that's it and then like we'll text you last and you will never text us back and after that you will never if you don't like put in the same effort why should we put in the same effort and all of y'all do this not just black women not just hispanic women not just white women all women today feel like they all the catch they feel like they all just whatever the fuck they got in their head because because of social media and got everybody gassed up and y'all be ignoring players y'all be ignoring good men out here like men that actually treat you right do do right by you everything y'all want in somebody y'all ignoring because of whatever the fuck y'all find the littlest thing to not fuck with somebody like i seen a video where a girl said she quit talking to a dude because he drove a kia and it's like damn a nigga can't drive a kia like who wants to pay expensive tabs on like foreign cars and shit all the time like some niggas are like not uh what's the word they're not frugal with their money they just know how to spend it why would they spend money on an expensive car so if something breaks down you have to spend more money and it's a lot of uh, what a lot of females don't know about um, foreign cars and stuff. Foreign makers have special tools for those foreign cars that, like, not a regular person, your homeboy can't fix the alternate or something. You got to take it to the dealership and pay them about two bands. You got to pay them 500 300 just to look at the damn car, just tell you what's wrong with it before they even fix it. Like, my BMW still did it, like, right now. That's why I got the Tahoe. My BMW... It has it needs a piece welded on it. And my daddy and them can weld it. It's just, bruh, ain't, ain't no point even like, bruh, it, we get to it when we get to it. That shit gets expensive. My brother replaced a new engine in his BMW. 30K on top of just, my, bruh, like, if people don't understand how much money it costs to work on foreign cars. So why would a regular daggler dude buy one? That's insane. Like, if. I wouldn't have, I, I don't have a, I, I got a form, but I drank my Tahoe, bro. Hey, something wrong with it. We, we, anybody can fix on that shit. I can work on that shit. Something wrong with it. Like, females are so caught up in this social media world, and that shit don't be real. Folks be posting shit on social media for two months ago, and y'all be thinking that nigga doing that shit today. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. I'm, well, I'm not getting off subject, but I'm going on a tangent y'all expectations too high and so a dude can and a, a lot of times a dude can be texting you in the first hour he know what you're about because all of y'all the same at this point y'all think y'all all different every last one of y'all the same so it's i it's either do we deal with you and get a, a big ass headache and try to keep up with the joneses and it's not even cute up the, with the joneses no more we got to keep up with rappers fucking social media influencers streamers youtubers a lot of niggas don't want to do that hell even me 
I DJ, so I'm in the shit. For the longest time, I didn't wear jewelry and shit until, like, people stopped taking me seriously because of me not having jewelry and shit on. And it's just like, that's insane that my talents does not get me jobs. Like, I have to look the part, especially when I travel and I'm networking. And if you don't look the part or you don't look like you do what you say you do, then they, y'all think we bummy. That's insane that my accolades don't don't show what I what I'm about. No, we gotta we gotta look we gotta look like a lick, which is insane. And and the, the reason I only wear this shit now because I paid for it. Like, and 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 I don't even like the the reaction you get from certain females and stuff wearing all this stuff because. Yeah, I want you for the wrong for the wrong reasons. And so a lot of dudes, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to spend money on this type of shit and then get the attraction and stuff from the females that they would never date. It's cool to smash on them, but like to be in a real relationship, you don't want nobody that idolizes that shit. And a lot of y'all are lost out here in this world. A lot of y'all have lost y'all. Y'all don't even know who y'all are. Y'all mimic a fucking some one of your uh, social media followers that you idolize, or some YouTube couple that you idolize, and you want to be them. You ain't got no personality yourself. Y'all don't do shit, but shop and watch TikTok. You ain't got nothing going about yourself. You ain't got no hobbies. You ain't got no damn nothing special about you. You ain't you ain't got no arts and crafts. Y'all can't cook no more. I the list could go on and on. And and y'all wondering why dudes don't want to deal with that. Who would want to deal with that? And y'all have a long list of shit we can't do. We sassy. We do X, Y, Z. We can't take you to Chili's, the Two for Tuesdays, the Applebee's no more. Trying to get to know you. Can't take you to a movie day, coffee day, library day, none of that shit. And I'm not saying all of y'all are like that. But the women that aren't like that, y'all don't make yourself known. So how are we supposed to find y'all? So I get uh, 90% of women, like I get a lot of women aren't like the women that's being plastered everywhere and shown and and talked about. But y'all don't help the cause because y'all don't make yourself found. Y'all don't, y'all don't write these dudes. Y'all don't hit up, hit us up first. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of dudes don't even like to talk to females when they're out anymore because you're just going to get shunned. You're just going to get, hit, like, nothing. Or a lot of dudes, like, they, they got insecurities and stuff, and then y'all going to let them creep in all this extra stuff just because they, they stumbled on their words when they're trying to talk to you. And that's fucking insane how y'all do men nowadays. Like, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this stuff, but, like, y'all need to start holding a mirror to y'all selves and start working on the inside. That's why nobody wants to deal with y'all. But let's see what this video got going on. And uh, let's see what uh, Ant Anton, Anton got to say. He be, he be leading a pack of his followers. He be fucking on. He be saying some real shit though. Like I can't really disagree because that's why I like watching his videos. Hey y'all. So yesterday I went out to the bar with my girls. Um, we went to watch the game, have a couple drinks, whatever. So we're there. Um, it's a guy at the bar. We're talking. We realize that we have mutual friends. Blah blah blah. Fast forward. I ask him. I'm like, how old are you? So he tells me his age. He's four years younger than me. So of course I was like. Mm. And he's like, don't make that face, don't judge a book by its cover, I'm a good guy, blah, 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 you know, whatever. So, I have stepped away, and when I come back, my friends are like, talk to him, he's cute, he's this, give him a chance, he said you're not interested because he's too young, blah, 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 so they're attacking me, right? So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So, I give him my number, um, and now it is today at 4 p.m., he hasn't texted me, not even a hey, good morning nice meeting you last night nothing like i'll tell you right now he you made him feel like shit like you 
wasn't going to talk to him. You only talked to him because your friends told you to talk to him. It wasn't your decision. So because it wasn't your decision, why should he waste his time? Like, that that should... That should tell you right there. He not gonna. He already know it is. He just he just know he gonna waste his time, and you're gonna find some reason to cut him off eventually. Like you you and then like she probably like not even like explaining how she probably like walked away and stuff. Probably made him feel like shit. Am I crazy or he should have said something about? It? I don't know. Maybe I'm putting expectations on him and I'm creating a narrative about this guy. He could still be at work. I don't know. Maybe he is going to text me or call me later. Like, I need to relax. But I'm just used to guys already texting me um, and already, you know, communicating the next day. But maybe that's not how he does things. Like I said, he's four years younger than me. Maybe they got a different bop going on. I don't know. I don't know. I just be feeling like that meme that was like, you gotta want me the way Plankton wanted that Krabby Patty formula. And ever since I saw that, that's just been in my mind. Like, if you like me, why you ain't send me a hundred roses? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'll update y'all if he texts me, if he call me or whatever. If he do, I'm cool. If he don't, I'm still cool. Nah, you're not still cool. And the reason why she not still cool is because she pressed about the idea that the guy that she won is not really checking for her. And what guys don't realize is that the less you care, the more they care. The less you care, the more they want you. And it ain't even got to be nothing special about you or that you did anything that's memorable. That's facts. That is super facts. It's really just about how you play it. And... I guess the, the, the one thing that I'm trying to understand is, is everybody that's a little bit older simps or something like that? Because she's saying that because the guy is three to four years younger than her, then for whatever reason, maybe they got a different bop and that they're not calling you the very next day. If you listen to the details of what she said, and I could be could be off, um, I could be off. If you look at the details of what she said, she basically said that this was just last night. First of all, I guess it's kind of weird for me because I don't, and I don't think that this is abnormal just because I'm a kind of a public figure or I got a YouTube channel or anything like that. I don't give anybody my personal information right off the bat anyway. And so you kind of just kind of be on social media and maybe you on Instagram and you know what I'm saying? I follow you or whatever. And then if we, if we kick it or we DM with each other or something like that, even on some networking type of stuff, right? And so these are people that I'm actually looking to get money with and do business with. And often at times it could be a girl because I think that the best people to get money with in a lot of instances are women because you can leverage them differently. Completely different conversation. But I don't give nobody my phone number. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the business that I do is through email. And when it comes to interacting with people on a personal level, like, I got to kind of know you know you. I got to kind of understand who you are. And that's how a lot of guys that um, I'm using myself as an example, just from a networking perspective, but, you know, because they don't care about what women think. And I think that a lot of guys today that I know, whether they older or they younger, they're not really giving out their phone number like that because that's, that's a finesse. That's a setup in a lot of ways. And you know, they don't even want to be in a position where they got to block you if they got to, if they don't want to deal with you or something like that, or you get clingy, you know, a stage five clinger or something like that. But um, I didn't know that people or guys was really that pressed to be able to check for you the next day. I mean, and if you do, because it ain't, I don't believe that there's any rules to what you do. It's just all based off of how you feel in the vibes based off of where the guy is at that particular time. But I didn't know that it was any rules, whether you was younger or older. And I didn't know that guys was that pressed to be able to reach out to you the very, very next day in the daytime when they just met you last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's more of a reflection, I think, of you than it is of him. So, yeah, number one, I do think that she tripping. Number two, I don't think that guys care as much because when you winning, regardless of what formula you're using, you're not pressed over no chick because you're just kind of busy, you know? And 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 guys that, that are winning – Often at times, they don't even call certain chicks back or I know guys that don't even be remembering. Like, I don't even be remembering half of the people that I meet 
I know guys that's so busy, they so focused on their bag, it's not even really a checking for them. And I think this kind of, it's a little bit more difficult dealing with people nowadays because they have so many expectations because I don't think that they understand a lifestyle. It's, it's much more difficult to meet somebody and then, you know, try to fit them into your schedule rather than it just naturally occurring. And I just believe in natural occurrences. And so I think that people that are a little bit more pressed um, are prioritizing you into their schedule. And I think that guys that are winning just ain't really tripping like that no more because. They well, you say dating these days is literally a game on all parts. And a lot of talk about, I like a lot of talk about I like and want this and that and don't even follow through. It goes both ways. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like just take just take me. Okay, let's just say like me. Say like I'm conversating and stuff. So I'm the type of person I want to like understand you because I got a lot of hobbies, right? And I don't like the conversation to be all about me, me, me. So if I'm sitting there like asking you what you do, what you like to do for fun and stuff, and I get nothing... You know, I like to hang with friends. Like, these one-line, dry-ass things, I don't want to indulge in, in, in conversation about what I do because it's just like, you're boring. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, some females, let's just say some women who don't have a life, who don't really do anything, who don't experience shit, once I start saying stuff like, oh, I cosplay and stream, they're going to think either I'm broke or I'm weird or, you know, that's, that's lame. Like, you know, they're looking for, that's too out of the box for them because they don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could start off saying I game and stuff, and that's kind of normalized now to an extent. But even still, because I'm black, and let's just get let's just get the cat out the bag. They're gonna immediately go to like 2K or Call of Duty or some shit, and it's like no, like like they like be like like they immediately go to like I love Call of Duty. Like I can play this that, and third, and I'm like, oh that's cool. I only play Call of Duty with my brother, and then they were like, I can beat you in 2K and stuff like that. I'm like. Probably so. I ain't played 2K in about 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, those ain't the games that I play. And so, like, right then it's a disconnect because it's like, damn. Like, people, like, only go to, like, the typical, like, bullshit. And then, like, you get the random random uh, occurrences where, like, now, like, with anime, a lot of, a lot of females like anime. So if I say... You know, I'm in the anime and stuff. They immediately go to the like the the top two, which is okay. You know what I'm saying? I understand you're just into it or whatever. But like, if I start naming off like all kinds of different shit, they don't know what the fuck that is and don't even want to like look it up or whatever. Or they say they check it out and never do it, and then it's so, like it's awkward. Then you know what I'm saying? Because then I'm like, oh shit, you know, did you check it out or whatever? Like, say I uh, hit them back up couple of days later so do you check it out or something like no nah, better than this and it's like cool not just dropping that don't ever bring it back up it's really weird with talking to women nowadays and it's just like one thing i have learned and this is like put um some game to the brothers on youtube i've learned that i have the best uh the best not luck, but the best outcomes with uh, girls who had brothers in their life or some type of male figure that they grew up with or had in their life that not necessarily put them on game, but like did shit with. So like, you know, like when Marvel movies was popping and shit, my road dog was my little sister. She went to every midnight release with me, every movie release. For the whole first uh, saga of Marvel movies, all the way up to literally, like, I went out to college and shit, and she went out to school. All the way up to so much so, like, the day the movies would come out, we would be texting each other in the movies. Like, even with Endgame, we was texting each other the day Endgame came out and shit like that. Like, that was my nigga during the, the, during the Marvel uh, Infinity Saga, Infinity War Saga. 
so with that being said say i meet a girl and her brother was in the marvel then i get the best outcome because now she we have like a level playing field but also she understands like that culture even if she don't really know nobody past iron man thor and hulk she knows the movies and like she's into comics but like you know and then like she loves seeing how excited her brother used to get or her pops and so when i get that same excitement and you know it clicks with her and she's like yeah and then she start asking questions like so what was this that and third when they did this in the movie you know what i'm saying and then she like tell me like oh my brother told me this that, and the third and i was like yeah 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 but this is what happened in the comics shit like that and then next thing you know the conversation is flowing we chit-chatting next thing you know we kicking it we re-watching movies and stuff shit go shit go kosher but it's like a lot of girls who just like consume their life on tiktok and don't have nothing like you don't have to like necessarily be doing anything just be into something like like i met a girl her brother watched naruto growing up so she necessarily didn't really watch naruto she just knew about it and got interested in it and then started she only watched like a couple of seasons so i finished the fucking show with her you get what i'm saying so it's just like i'm and and a, a, a lot of dudes may not have that look but i just know females who have that male figure in their life some kind of male figure in their life in my day and age it it it, it goes w way differently than a female who just think that they independent don't need no nigga don't want no man they can do everything on their own independent this that and third even the ones who are like that if they had some their brother in their life even though they 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 independent and don't ask for help and stuff but they did have a brother they still you not necessarily wear them down but like if you if you present yourself as a real man to them then they are slowly like let you in it may take a minute but they slowly like start to understand all right all right okay like he is somebody i can like lean on because it'll be like not saying like you need to remind them of their brother or something but they understand how male authority works in their life and once you step up to that necessarily like once you step up there and let them know like no i i also can fit that role too maybe not the way you're used to but i am a male fit because i'm an older brother so like i get like un i understand like how that thought process could work because like my sister she damn so don't like asking for help and shit like that but when she needed she gonna call us even though like if she may just want to be a baby sometimes and just call us and and ask one of us for help like my like she got four brothers to call on and every last one of us gonna, gonna pull up for we may not want to do it may not man we may want to choke her out when we get there and we can't even stand her half the time because of her attitude but we gonna do it so me understanding that i understand what it is like with certain sisters and their brothers like how they just operate so it like jails really well and so you can like find those girls who are like super high independent but if they had a male figure in their life you can fit in that role and then they'll start leaning on you and actually start like relying on and then next thing you know you got a uh you're growing together you got a, a nice mesh relationship and it's work but all the sh all the really shitty relations that i had was always with like girls who didn't have no male figure in their life they didn't even fuck with their pops or their uncles and shit and so like that's just something i picked on picked up on as growing through this life but like if you those girls that just don't have nothing going for them they ain't got no interest no nothing they don't even they're not even like they don't even think about wanting to do something you can't get through to them they want to copy somebody and if you don't copy what they they see on instagram or tiktok or what they envision it's over with it's over with. and a lot and another thing i realized that i had that um that works for me may not it may not work for other people but for me i understand like females that like uh 
that don't really that like it's the females that be on tiktok and instagram and stuff but they don't really follow like uh rappers and social media presence they're on there for memes and shit so like they'll be watching like random ass cat videos and shit like that the women that don't know who like superstars and stuff is too also get i also have really good luck with them because because my because i grew up in that industry so i know like all the stars and like shit like that so i hate when people find out who my dad is and then they just start going down like his history and shit like that who i've met and all this stuff that shit gets old after a while and then they just view view you as a ticket uh appreciate the follow eva lily is it eva lily eva lily i appreciate the follow ma'am or sir or you know they Hopefully it's a she, depending on the name, but you know, could be could be a dude. But uh appreciate the follow. But um the females who just be on like TikTok and Instagram for like cat videos and shit like that, them the ones to get to. Cause they they're just they just want they a lot of the times they'll be interested in a lot of shit that don't know where to start. Like I met a girl who who wanted to watch anime but didn't know like it was like on netflix because you know like after so long netflix um uh, the algorithm of netflix it just recommends shows that you watch like me half the new shit on netflix i don't be seeing because all my shit is anime and fucking power and shit on netflix all this I, I have to go to like hulu to find like new shows because i actually watch the shows on hulu or amazon i don't never see nothing new on netflix uh, i see a new anime in an instant i don't see none of the new shit on netflix until like somebody like you so write me about it or fucking i see a, a video on it on instagram or something but like those type of women too they cool because they're like a what's the word they're like an open book they want to whatever whatever they see you light up about that's what they 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 want to feel that same type of shit and so they cool they they i have good luck with them 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 the two types of women and then if you find one that like then had a brother in life and then just an open book oh you in the game you in the game but uh let's finish this video because i do not want this shit to be another fucking 30 minute video they got options and more importantly forget the options part they got money to go and get so you know i guess it just depends on the type of guy that she meeting or kicking it with it might have just been a moment she That's said that that's one thing too i forgot to say that a lot of the times when you just focus on yourself you find the female will find you like when you just focus on your work and just doing what you're supposed to do in life and making yourself better a lot of the times they just find you and them be the ones that like they spit game to you you be like god damn I, I ain't got no choice but to holler this bitch that you know she met him at a bar and they started talking about age and stuff and her girlfriends was like oh you cute you know listen it's one day it's just one day but i think that the bigger less the biggest lesson in here is she's basically telling you how women think and the more that you say no the more that you're not tripping the the more that you're not pressed about her the less you care about her the more they're going to want you and the more that they're going to have a, a greater desire for you because I think that a lot of times, and her friend, her friends unknowingly kind of play, play right into his hands because they was all like, oh, you need to talk to him, whatever. Come on, man. She was, she was already checking anyway. The age ain't have nothing to do with it whatsoever, but they kind of played it into his hands. And so he kind of got the alley-oop in a general sense um, and that, you know, the less that he cared and the more that they they pressed for him, the more play that he going to get. And so that's the thing that guys got to realize is that you just literally got to not care. You got to be social. You got to be the type of person that can kick it with everybody that can talk to a girl in front of her friends and don't even trip about it. Um, not be too forward, but just kind of be a little bit more relaxed. Um, and it, and this ain't even really got nothing to do with women. It's just got something to do with life. Like you got to be the type of person, if you want things in life, to be incredibly social, not tripping about anything that's going on around you, 
always being focused on the fact that you can get more. It's always more. It's always more money. It's always more women. It's always more opportunities. But you want to leverage your time for the things that really matter and prioritize the things that really matter, understanding that that stuff is still going to be there. Women are still going to be there. It's always going to be another chick. It's always going to be another opportunity. Um, and even if you call her a week from now, trust me, don't be pressed. She's still going to be available. She's not going nowhere. Go and get the thing that really matters, that, that, that can change your life. Don't focus so much on the thing that don't matter. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. And I don't think that she said anything bad. She just kind of, you know, she kind of exhibited the mindset of women in general. I don't think it's even a mindset of women today. I think that she's just talking about women in general. I do think it's a little bit weird that they exchange phone numbers, but that's just the nuance with me personally. I don't like people having my number that um, I don't know, no. Like, I ain't kicked it with you or I ain't interacted with you on a real, you know, networking type of level. And then they got to just naturally progress into the business side of it. But I don't know. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Make sure you tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as been to the top of the chat. Um, let me know what y'all think. I mean, I don't too much care about the number shit. So what you think about numbers? I got three phones, so like... I just give you my two business phone numbers, and if you you ever get my personal number, that's different. I don't, I hate answering my personal number. So many people done had that shit over the years. I ought to change that shit. But nowadays, I I hold that tight to the chest. Can't nobody get that number. I don't know. I don't too much care about giving out my number, just cause as a DJ. You got to be accessible. People uh, people want to email you, call you, all that extra shit. Hey, we got a show book right now. Can you be here in a couple hours? Hell no, nah, I'll be turning that shit down. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment on the video, YouTubers. Come come by with us on uh, Twitch. We kicking it. Uh, Yeah. Trying to get the 500. Appreciate y'all.